Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting, titillating, orgasmic edition of Radical Rock and Record Reviews. And I'm your host, Wild Ride bassist, Mick Watkins, otherwise known as Dick Twikins. And today, guys, I want to share something with you that I got. Got a package in the mail. Got a package in the mail from my good friends at Monarch Entertainment. Monarch Music formerly known as E1 Entertainment. So got this package in the mail today from Monarch. And, uh, well, let's see what's inside of it, shall we? Let's see what's inside the box! All right, so I got my trusty switchblade. Check it out. Don't want to cut myself here on the video. Let's see what we got here. Hang on, let's see. This is going to be interesting to see what it is, guys. What do you think it is? What do you think it is, baby? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Look, here it is. Oh, it's like Christmas morning. It's like Christmas morning here at the Twatkins house. All right, so check it out, guys. Okay. Fragile. Fragile. Check it out. Let's see what it is. What do you think it is? Open it up, check it out. Got some rummagings, got that. Uh, oh, shit, woo! Check this out, guys, from Monarch Entertainment. Like I said, formerly known as E1 Entertainment. My friends at Monarch sent me. Oh, dude, this is so freaking cool. I was just getting ready to put my order in this. Actually, actually. I was getting ready to put my order in this. Check it out. For the first time on cassette. For the first time on cassette. Ace Fraley's entire E1 catalog. Limited edition set includes four col colored signature silhouette guitar picks. Check it out, guys. Ace Fraley, the space Cassette box set, 2009 to 2020. Check it out right here, right now. Man, I am fucking hyped. I've got goosebumps. Man, for some reason, my pants are getting a little tight. Oh, man. Dude, let's check it out. There's the front. Ace Freely cassette box set. Look at that. That's awesome. There's the side. Nothing on the spine. Nothing on the spine for you guys. And here's the back. This is really freaking cool. It's just pictures of Ace uh, throughout the years and all the albums included. Definitely going to keep that on the box. If it's like one of those little sticky pieces of paper that's glued, definitely going to keep that on there. That's awesome. Hopefully it's printed. Check that out. Badass. Got my trusty uh, switchblade knife. There you go. So let's unbox it, shall we? Let's unbox. Let's unbox! Check it out. All right, so got it. This is really, oh, I just ripped the uh, hype sticker. It'll be okay. Oh yeah, so check that out. That is printed on the back. I love that aspect of it. Very cool, rocking my Ace Fraley shirt. I got it at the Nashville show when I saw Ace and Alice Cooper uh, about a month ago. Awesome gig, awesome show. So check it out. There's the front without the the gleam of the wrapping, the plastic wrap. There's the back. So let's check it out. How is this open? Uh, uh oh, hang on. Here it is. Oh man, how do you do this? Oh, it's a Velcro. Say look, Velcro. Check it out. Huh? Huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So see, like you got this. Turn to the sides, got the Ace Freely, Freely's Comet, Thunderbolt logo. Got the Velcro right there, and there they are housed. Beautifully. Beautifully. Dude, I love this. Check this out. There's all the albums. Try to get rid of the gleam. There's all the albums. Oh, dude. This is freaking rad. Let's check it out first. Probably my favorite in the set. Not my favorite album, but the favorite display. First up, you got from 2009, Ace Frehley's return after 20 years absence of making new music. 
Ace Freely returned. And then you got, check it out, Anomaly. Badass, 2009's Anomaly on, look at that, Neon Green, my favorite color, Neon Green Cassette. Oh, that's killer, dude. check it out let's bust it out of the shrink wrap real quick man so freaking cool there's the shrink check it out right there anomaly really good album man really good album really enjoy this album it's got a couple duds on it, a couple songs i don't care for but majority of the album's pretty damn good i mean fucking outer space foxy and free pain in the neck pain in the neck's my favorite track uh too Many Faces is pretty awesome. Space Bear. I love Space Bear. Sister's awesome. Pretty good album, except for uh, Genghis Khan's really cool. Only songs I don't really care for are Change the World, A Little Below the Angels, and It's a Hard Life. I don't know. Not really too crazy about those, but check this out, dude. This is awesome. Look at that. There's the green cassette. Badass anomaly. Then you open up the J card. Man, this brings back memories. I haven't had a brand new cassette in decades. Shit, probably since like the mid-90s. There's the booklet right there. You got Ace rocking out. Check it out. It's cool pictures. There's the write-up uh, by Ron Albanese. I've always loved that picture right there with Ace with his smoking guitar. So cool, so cool. Good album. This was very much welcomed after 20 years of Ace not releasing new music. We got Anomaly, and dude, I absolutely love this. So there's Anomaly. Let's check it out. Then we move on to, oh man, here you go. Let's see if I can get this open as easily. Up oh, there you go. Cool. Keep this shit going uh, pretty quick so I don't got you guys on here. And then the follow-up album, a much better album, and in my opinion, the best album on this box set. 2014's, I remember this well, 2014 Space Invader. This album smokes, dude. This album smokes on awesome yellow cassette. How cool is that shit, man? Yeah, dude, Space Invader, very good album. Like I've said, if you watch the Ace Frehley ranking the albums episode I did, my top three favorite uh, Ace albums are, of course, the 1978 Kiss solo album, Ace Frehley. Then I got to go with 1989's Trouble Walking. Then after that, my third favorite, Space Invader. Space Invader. He comes from distant galaxies. So there's the album cover. Love that album cover. Painted by the legend himself, Ken Kelly, who also did, you know, Kiss Destroyer, Kiss Love Gun, Rainbow Rising. So there's the booklet right there. It's got that awesome looking picture of Ace. Lyrics, album credits. This is so freaking awesome, dude. E1, Monarch Entertainment. One of the greatest record labels going in this modern age for hard rock, heavy metal music. Love it. Love what they're doing for Ace. It's exactly what Ace needs in a record label. So freaking cool. Once again, there's 2014's Space Invader. So then you got, from 2016, the very first volume of Ace's cover album series, Origins. There's 2016's Origins Volume 1. And this album saw, for the first time since Psycho Circus in 1998, what was that, 18 years? The first time in 18 years that the Space Ace and the star child Paul Stanley we're on an album together when Paul Stanley guested on the uh, on the cover of Fire and Water. Check that shit out. There's the album cover. Very cool album cover. And this is on uh, kind of blue. Ace Fraley electric blue cassette. Love that, man. This is so fucking awesome. Very cool looking picture of Ace right there. Love it. There's the album cover. You know, here lately, over the past year or so, I have gotten into collecting cassettes. I don't listen to them, you know, don't really need to with all the CDs and vinyl that I have. 
But just to collect this and have it and be able to look at it and cherish it. And you know what? I probably will eventually here soon within the next year, maybe in 2020. Maybe the Ace Freely box set will influence me to, uh, to purchase a new cassette deck. So yeah, check that out. Origins Volume 1 from 2016. Awesome album. My favorite tracks. I love Fire and Water with Paul Stanley. I love Emerald, the Thin Lizzy cover. That's probably my favorite track. Cold Gin kicks ass on here with Mike McCready from Pearl Jam. Parasite with John Five is really good. Get me out of this rock and roll hell. I need to get away. Cover the Kiss classic off Creatures of the Night. Rock and roll hell. 2016's Origins Volume 1 on Electric Blue cassette. Coming up in the next one, ooh, my second favorite album. My second favorite album in this collection. I love this. This would be my probably my fourth favorite Ace Frehley studio album from 20, I believe it's 2018, Spaceman. Very cool, very cool. I really, really dig this album. And it is on, check this out, Silver. Kind of glittery silver like Ace's makeup. How fucking rad is that, dude? Check it out, man. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I am digging this collection. There's the album cover. Very cool album cover. Love that. There's this awesome Ace Fraley picture, which I got autographed at a meet and greet when I met Ace. Was it 2019, I think? Yeah. Very cool, awesome picture. I can't wait for Ace's new album. Ace's brand new, all original studio album should be out next year in 2022. Can't wait to hear that. There's oh, there's a cool like close up of Ace's smoking guitar. There's kind of the pictures of him wearing the the suit from the solo album uh, photo sessions. There's Ace's chair, which he probably cut a couple farts in that day. Very cool, man. Awesome. Yeah, Spaceman's a good album. If you haven't heard any of these records, these albums, tapes. Pick them up, dude. This is a very, very neat set. Digging the hell out of this right now. There's 2018 Spaceman. Kicks out, kicks off with uh, Without You of Nothing, featuring Gene Simmons on bass. Him and Gene wrote that together. Also, your wishes are my command. Your wishes are my command. I love that song. That's so classic. Kiss, dude. It could have been off of like, I don't know, maybe like Dynasty or Unmasked or something. Very cool song. It's got, yeah, Bronx Boys, a badass tune. Very street, very streets of New York, Bronx, rock and ace tune. I want to go back. The Eddie Money cover is really good. My favorite track on this album, kind of Keith Richards, Rolling Stones, Swagger of Off My Back. I love some Off My Back. I love Off My Back. I like that kind of cool riff it has in it so yeah there's a 2018 spaceman on silver cassette very cool and then here's the last uh cassette to be featured the last of ace fraley's uh monarch e1 albums and here's the latest that came out uh last year in 2020 very good album and my favorite of the two origins albums 2020's Origins Volume 2. This was in my top uh, five favorite albums of last year. Love that album cover with that cool kind of bat signal. That's the that's the t-shirt I got on right now. Ah. Very cool. And this is on just classic black. Classic black kind of glossy cassette. Check that out. Very, very cool. I'm actually listening to that right now. The store is the, the stereo. <laughs> Origins Volume 2. There's the J card all spread out. All spread out like a cheap whore. Like Gene Simmons says on Unholy. Whore. There's the lyrics. There's the cool artwork. Album cover. Ace. Back in the Space Ace costume and makeup. Rocking out in his Dynasty outfit. So awesome, dude. Yeah, you can go on to Monarch Entertainment's website. Pick this up. I think it's like, I don't know. 40, 50, 60 bucks, something like that. Definitely worth it if you're a huge Ace Freely fan like I am. Love it. Look at that. 
Origins Volume 2. And then what is this? Oh, yeah. Not to mention the Ace Freely cassette box set featuring a box of picks. I'm telling you, E1, see, this is just like the classic Kiss albums. You know, when you got Rock and Roll Over back in the day, you got the sticker, you got Love Gun, you got the pop out cardboard gun. You got Alive, too, and they came with the awesome Evolution of Kiss booklet and the tattoos you can put all over your arm. You got Alive, Kiss Alive. It's got that awesome kind of tour book-like booklet with all the awesome pictures. Dynasty came with the poster. Unmasked came with the poster. Hell, even Sonic Boom came with some bonus discs and a DVD. You know, so in complete Kiss fashion, he won. Monarch Entertainment nailed it. So I guess this is like the Spaceman guitar pick. Check that out. Pretty cool. It's got his silhouette on it. These are very, very awesome. Here would be the, uh, I guess this is the Space Invader one. Fuck, no. No, no, no. This, I don't know, dude. Oh, this would be the Origins Volume 1. Origins Volume 1 pick with the blue. I like that blue, man. That's cool. Ace Fraley's autograph on the back. Very cool. This would be the Space Invader one, the orange. Duh. They're all the colors of the cassettes, kind of. Check that out. Pretty cool. Ace's autograph on the back. And there's the Anomaly. Ooh, this is my favorite. I love neon green. It's my favorite. Coolest Ace pose right there. Bad ass. And there's Ace's autograph on it. Very neat. Very neat. Definitely worth picking this up. Like I said, if you're a huge... Well, drop a guitar picks. Fuck. Yeah, definitely pick this up if you're a huge Ace Frehley fan, if you're a huge Kiss fan. Definitely pick it up, guys. Totally worth it. Origins Volume 2 on there. Spaceman. Origins Volume 1. Space Invader. Man. Anomaly. And you know what? If I'm going to do a kind of a bonus ranking, let's do a little ranking because I love ranking stuff. Once again, I've ranked the Ace Frehley albums, but fuck, let's do it again anyway. Uh, my least favorite. Got to go with 2016's Origins Volume 1. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to change it up a little bit from my previous album ranking I did. Uh, my next least favorite. Even though it's one of my favorite album covers of the recent Ace stuff, but I got to go with my next least favorite, Anomaly, from 2009. So that means that Origins Volume 2 has kind of went up in the charts and Anomaly slipped a little bit. So yeah, there's Origins Volume 2. That would be my next favorite. Then I'd got to go with Spaceman from 2018. And then my favorite in this set, easily. Space Invader. He comes from distant galaxies. So there it is, guys. The Ace Freely uh monarch e1 cassette box set non-sell on a website just google that shit put in your order and get you on the mail it's the most excellent cool box set very nostalgic for us folks that uh grew up with cassettes and shit so thank you for joining me on this awesome ace freely journey if this is your first video of mine you're watching and you like it Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell so you can keep up to date on Radical Rock and Record Reviews and all the videos I put out. And also check out my band, Wild Ride. W-Y-L-D-R-Y-D-E on Facebook. Official Wild Ride on Instagram. www.bandcamp.wildride.com. Look us up on Spotify. Uh, fucking all the major streaming services. We got an EP out from 2018 called City Streets. And we're also in the next two months, actually, shit, next month, we're getting ready to release our brand new record, Wild Ride Gasoline Alley. So be expecting that. Coming available next month in December. Guys, I want to thank you all. This box set is amazing. I also want to thank everybody at Monarch Entertainment, formerly E1 Entertainment, for sending me this. It's Thank you, guys. I love it. I love it. It's a killer box set. You guys did an excellent job, and I appreciate it with all my rock and roll hot, baby. Ah, yeah! Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Ah. Peace.